Guyon Canal Syndrome is a relatively rare peripheral ulna neuropathy. It is defined as a compression of the distal ulna nerve at the level of the wrist as is past Guyon Canal. The clinical presentation can be purely sensory, purely motor or both depending on the location of the nerve compression. For incidence and prevalence, the first one, a series of 85 wrist dissection, reveal a 22.4% incidence in anomalous muscle and a 1.7% incidence of anomalous nerve path. The second one, some studies estimate that 30% to 40% of Guyon Canal syndrome result from ganglion cysts. Another study estimate 45% of the case to be idiopathic. Unfortunately, the incidence and prevalence of Guyon Canal syndrome in the general population have not been accurately estimated due to the lack of the study. Injury to distal ulna nerve can be due to compression, trauma, inflammation or vascular efficiency. The etiologies include ganglion cysts, the most common causes of Guyon Canal syndrome, tumor, anatomical anomalies, it can be hypertrophic muscle, abnormal anatomy or unusual location, ulna artery thrombosis or aneurysm, or for example, hypotena hammer syndrome. Fracture or dislocation, for example, the hook of hammer fracture or displacement, repetitive trauma, Couple tunnel syndrome, it can lead to anatomical changes in the ulna tunnel leading to the functional impairment and lastly is lethrogenic. These are the clinical features of Guyon Canal syndrome. The hands may become clumsy due to the feeling of pins and needles as well as decreased sensation in the ring and little finger. There will also be a burning pain in the recent hand and it will be very hard to do the opposition and reposition of the thumb. Pathophysiology for Guyon Canal Syndrome is divided into three zones, which is first zone is ulna nerve. The etiology for this zone is hook hammer fracture, malunion, nonunion, ganglion cyst. Guyon Canal injury here is mixed motor and sensory motor, resulting in a sensory deficit over the hypotena, little finger, and the middle half of the ring finger and motor weakness, and all ulna innervate, innervate intrinsic muscle. Second zone is motor branch. The etiology for this zone is hook hemate, fracture, malunion, nonunion, ganglion cyst. Guyon canal injury here affected only motor sensory, resulting in motor weakness in the hand muscle innervated by the ulna nerve. The last zone is zone 3, sensory branch. The etiology for this zone is ulna artery aneurysm and thrombosis. Guyon canal syndrome here produces sensory symptoms such as numbness and tingling. Compression at the superficial sensory branch, it manifests as sensory deficit on the palmar side of the ring finger and the palmar middle side of the ring finger without hypotena and intraosseous weakness. Next is management. There are two types of management for Guyon Canal Syndrome, which are conservative and surgical management. Conservative management are for the lightest forms of Guyon Canal Syndrome, which are from very mild to moderate symptoms with a duration of less than 3 months, while surgical management are for more severe forms of Guyon Canal Syndrome, which are from moderate to very severe symptoms with a duration of at least 2 months. The examples for conservative management are number 1. Activity modification. For example, cyclists, we can modify the activity of cycling in terms of postures by adjustment and defensive care. Number 2 is instruction for the patient. The patient should be instructed to avoid from any repetitive stress on the Guyon Canal such as weight bearing or bicycling and also to limit mechanical overload from repetitive actions or static postures such as extension of the wrist. Number 3 is splinting. The aim of splinting are to reduce the amount of mechanical strain on the irritated nerve by immobilizing the wrist. The patient should wear the splint until he or she is free of symptoms or the splint has insufficient effects. There are two types of splint which are neutral wrist splints and fingers free. Next is surgical management. The examples for surgical management are number 1. Local decompression. The aim for local decompression are to reduce the pressure on the ulna nerve in the Guyon Canal. Surgical decompression of the ulna nerve are done by opening the roof of the Guyon Canal and remove any structures that compress the ulna nerve. Number 2. Tendon transfer. 
the info tendon transfer are to correct fingers clawing, to restore the power pinch and also to correct the abduction of little finger. Number 3. Couple tunnel release. These procedures are used for patients who diagnose with both Guyen canal syndrome and couple tunnel syndrome. It may indirectly decompress Guyen's canal. Surgical decompression is a safe and effective surgery. However, some potential risks are inevitable. Among them are wound infection, nerve injury, pain syndrome, incomplete recovery, recurrence and scar tenderness. Other treatments include therapeutic ultrasound and nerve blinding exercises. According to European Hand Guide and SAID, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and corticosteroid injections are not beneficial for treating Guyon Canal Syndrome. Prognosis for Guyon Canal Syndrome, patient will undergo a strict post-operative re rehabilitation period. First to wait the gentle active range of motion ROM exercise. For the fourth week, the passive ROM exercise and the sixth week will start strengthening exercise. Based on surgeon experience, after four month rehabilitation, the patient, such as athlete, will have a full recovery and return back to the sport without complaining about the pain. The conceptualization of ICF is a person's level of functioning or disability is influenced by a dynamic interaction between health conditions and contextual factors as stated below. People with Guyen Canal Syndrome will have impairments in body functions as well as body structures. It will affect sensory functions in pain, neuromusculoskeletal and movement related functions, and entrapment or compression of the ulnar nerve that causes the syndrome. And the patient will have activities limitations in doing self care activities or domestic life, such as personal hygiene, bathing, meal preparation, etc. Other than that, the patients will have restricted participation in engaging in recreation and leisure activities that require hand use. For environmental factors, it will worsen the condition due to the work demand. Tasks requiring repetitive movement and takes a long time to be completed can lead to this condition. And for personal factors, it will affect cyclists and weightlifters most. Due to the repetitive tr trauma because of the cyclist handled by external compression, and constant pressure from the pressure of gripping for weight lifters. Thank you for watching our video for Guyan Canal Syndrome.